Hello boys and girls. Um, today we have decided to um, show you the, the build, uh, one of the clients build. Uh, it's um, an HT, HT, HTPC uh, small form factor uh, case with uh, a small uh, micro ATX motherboard. Uh, Intel uh, i7 Haswell refresh uh, i7 uh, 4790 uh, CPU so uh, it's uh, the Z97 uh, new motherboard new chipset from Intel we have uh, MSI GTX 770 uh, graphics card uh, which is 26 centimeters long and it still uh, fits here the, the box of the CPU is uh, OEM because we did not we do not install the uh, standard Intel's uh, CPU fan, so we're gonna use the low profile Cooler Masters Gemini uh, M4 uh, CPU fan for the as a primary drive for the operating system and main applications we're going to use the a data uh, pro series uh, sp900 uh, ssd drive which has uh, a very high read uh, at 550 megabytes and write at 520 megabytes per second speeds which is very good for uh, loading times we're also going to use a secondary drive, the Western Digital uh, Blue 1 terabyte uh, hard drive. Uh, as a power supply, we're going to use the uh, Thermaltake uh, Hamburg 530 watts power supply, which uh, should provide enough juice for the whole system. Uh, we don't like overkills, so we're not going to use an 8 100 uh, watt power supply or what 1000 watt power supply in a system that needs only 400 uh, watts 450 so uh, we're going to use this power supply and the case is the Silverstone Sugo series uh, SG 01 F uh, case uh, in black color uh, it's a very good uh, very solid case so um, we decided to use this one for this setup uh, why a small form factor case? Why a small uh, HTPC uh, setup? Because um, there are some people that don't want to have a huge case uh, sitting on the floor collecting dust. So this case is ideal for those who want to save some space and uh, make good, of, good use of their uh, um, Desk or uh, you, you know the space in the uh, in their room. So this case can sit on top of your desk and uh, you know free some free up some space uh, for other stuff. So uh, let's see. Uh, we're gonna create a fast uh, fast forward uh, speed it up video how we build this computer and then share some thoughts with you after we finish the setup so we'll see you in a bit
so guys we have finished building up this uh, PC uh, it's all ready to be fired up so let's take a look at this screen to see if it's going to start uh, turn on the power supply press the button and we have everything working it seems okay starting up very good okay and even loading to the operating system which was pre-installed on the uh, SSD previously so it's going to take some time to install so uh, it took some time to uh, finish building it uh, the main reason was because uh, it's a very small uh, form factor case and there were some uh, difficulties fitting this card in for example this fan was installed here and we have to had to remove it because the, uh, the back plate of uh, GTX 770 was not fitting under the fan so we had to remove it on the top part here um, apart from that there were no significant issues here uh, everything fits okay uh, the card fits it touches the hard drive cage here a bit but that's not critical uh, there is enough headroom uh, above the um, fan the um, the cooler master low profile fan that we had uh, the hard drive cage is um, cooled by another 80 millimeter fan from from here the power supply fit fairly good um, so until now it works fine and it also loaded to windows and seems to work just fine so here we have the intel core i7 4790 CPU at 3.6 gigahertz uh, and 8 gigs of RAM okay um, what we can do we can uh, restart it just to see how much time it's going to take to restart it so it's shut down already Okay, so we're at 20 seconds now. And 25 seconds for a full, full uh, restart here. Uh, another one thing, another thing that I wanted to share with you uh, is the, uh, the BIOS that I wanted to show and the temperatures as well. So we can see how, how good uh, and how cool this uh, PC is. So me. Thanks to the uh, A Data SSD, it uh, loads pretty fast, so we don't have to wait for too long. So this is the um, the BIOS graphical interface uh, that we have. Uh, it's uh, pretty good looking, and we see the CPU running at 35 degrees uh, centigrade. The ambient temperature is around 22, 23 deg degrees now, and motherboard temperature is at 31. The CPU fan is running at 800 RPM, so it's uh, very quiet. We don't see any uh, spin up from here. We can choose the boot up drive. The uh, and the advanced mode is also um, controlled by mouse and here we can see more information the memory the frequency the date uh, in the monitor we can see the CPU temperature still at 37 degrees 
uh, the CPU multiplier is uh, 36 and uh, cannot be changed so it's not the key it's not the unlocked version of the uh, CPU so it has a turbo boost but uh, it cannot be overclocked uh, by changing the multiplier so guys um, it took some time to finish building it up because as I said it's a small form factor and uh, things sometimes go uh, as you have not planned so uh, but uh, having a box of this size uh, that can run uh, most of the games and applications that uh, you have uh, at high resolution and uh, high specs uh, I think it's a benefit so for those uh, who likes small form factor uh, PCs this might be a good solution not exactly this case but any case that of this size um, it will be great if you share your ideas and uh, thoughts uh, with us regarding the uh, this kind of uh, setups uh, so please comment uh, and subscribe thanks again uh, see you again soon bye bye